Let's do this. Welcome to episode one of this most likely mediocre little project. I like to call it the Cripple Cast. Now, for those of you who don't know me somehow, my name is Lionel and I'm a radio student slash freelance entertainment writer. And yes, as the title would lead you to believe, I'm a little bit messed up. More specifically, I can't walk right to save my own life. Upon this somewhere on your travels and have no idea what the show is or what to expect from me, let me break it down what you may end up seeing from my terrible little show here on the internet. Really expect anything, if I'm being honest, entertainment news, ramble cast, small life updates, and who knows, with the Halloween season approaching us, maybe I'll talk about cryptids once or twice to have some fun. Now as you may be able to tell, it's just me on the show. And for the most part, it probably will be like that, but who knows, maybe I'll get some friends on here from time to time to banter back and forth with and entertain everyone just that little bit more, because lord knows I can't do it myself. And with that being said, we can get on to the more important tasks for now. For all you hockey fans, Buffalo seems to be in trouble again. I know at this point, it's not a shock to anyone really. It's been reported that Jack Eichel has recently failed a physical, and has been stripped of his captaincy with the team. That of course has been the most recent event, at least for the time of recording. In the ongoing Eichel saga, we're going to have to see what goes on with Buffalo uh, throughout the upcoming season. Uh, I don't expect good things, personally, but I could be wrong there. Going on elsewhere in sports as of late, Kevin Durant top Sports Illustrated list of the top 100 NBA players going into the upcoming season, which is sure to make some Nets fans happy as a result. Probably most of them, if I'm being honest. Also, according to the same article, Shea Gilgis-Alexander placed top 30 on the same list. I always love to see Canadian NBA talent getting some recognition for their effort in the sport. Also occurring in the NBA going into the next season, the front office of the Lakers has seemingly confirmed that the team will be fully vaccinated against COVID-19 heading into the upcoming season. We'll have to wait and see how the season shakes out on the COVID front. I know we've heard that Andrew Wiggins will not be playing any games at home unless he gets vaccinated. Same thing with Kyrie Irving. So there's a little bit of a down to go with your up there, Nets fans. Well, I think that's all for me from now. And I hope that you, those of you that have stayed and enjoyed this short little episode and hopefully you stop by again for the next one. I don't know when the next one will be, but it'll be there.